I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about Taylor Series. In problem number 23, we'd like to find the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor Series for the function f of x equals 1 over x. Then we'd like to write the power series using summation notation, specifically where a is equal to 1. Okay, so we're going to uh, write this function as a Taylor series where a is equal to 1. And it doesn't matter what Taylor series expansion you're doing, if a equals 1, 0, whatever, the first thing that you want to do is just write down your function and take some derivatives of that function. So let's start that way. So I'm going to write down f of x is equal to 1 over x. So f prime of x is equal to negative uh, 1 over x squared. So f double prime of x is equal to, I guess this would be 2 over x cubed. f triple prime of x is equal to, let's see, negative 6 over x to the fourth. f quadruple prime of x is equal to positive 24 over x to the fifth. I guess I don't need to write in positive, but I was just doing it for my own sake, uh, and so on. All right, and now what I want to do is I remember, okay, in this case, A, or the center of my power series, is equal to 1. So I want to plug in 1 to each of these derivatives, the original and each of the derivatives. So I want to know what is f of 1, what's f prime of 1, what's f double prime of 1, and what's f triple prime of 1, and what is f quadruple prime of 1. Okay, so let's figure all these things out. Uh, f of 1, I just plug in 1 to the original function and I get 1. I plug in 1 to this guy and I get negative 1. I plug in 1 to the second derivative and I get 2. I plug in 1 to the third derivative and I get negative 6. Plug in 1 to the fourth derivative and I get positive 24. Now, I'd like you to notice something right now that 1 is also known as 0 factorial. Negative 1 is negative 1 factorial. 2 is 2 factorial. Negative 6 is negative 3 factorial. 24 is 4 factorial. And I think we see a pattern here. We're going positive, negative, positive, negative, but every time it's a factorial. Okay, so what we can do now is we say, all right, if I want to write this thing out then as a Taylor series, then I need to do the following. f of x is going to be equal to, now we need to remember our formula for Taylor series. It starts out f of a over uh, 0 factorial times x minus a to the 0. Well, f of a is f of 1, so that's 0 factorial divided by 0 factorial times x minus a, a being 1, to the 0, plus uh, f prime of 1, which is negative 1 factorial, so I get minus 1 factorial divided by 1 factorial times x minus 1 to the first. Next term would be plus 2 factorial over 2 factorial times x minus 1 squared. And finally, our fourth term that would be non-zero would be minus 3 factorial over 3 factorial times x minus 1 cubed. And I think that that's just off the screen, so let me write it down a line lower. So that's minus 3 factorial over 3 factorial times x minus 1 cubed. Okay, so here are the first four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course those can be cleaned up quite a bit, right? Let me rewrite this real quick. 
Uh, this is just one, and this is just one, so that's one. This guy, the one factorials cancel, so to speak, and I get minus uh, x minus one. Here are the two factorials cancel, and I get plus uh, x minus one squared. Here the three factorials cancel, and I get minus x minus one cubed, and so on. And I think now we see the pattern. We go plus, minus, plus, minus, and we just have increasing powers of x minus one. So I can write it this way, that f of x is equal to the sum in going from zero to infinity of, well, first of all, it alternates. So I get negative one raised to the n. Uh, but then I just am going to multiply that by x minus 1 to the n. So I get x minus 1 to the 0 in the first term, x minus 1 to the first here, x minus 1 to the second here, and so on. So it's just negative 1 to the n times x minus 1 to the n. And we're done.